Hello everyone. In this video, we look at functions to find yesterday, tomorrow and next week. So in Excel, for finding the today's date, we have a function. That is, I can just write in is equal to today and open and close the parenthesis and if i click enter i'll get today's date here so today is 24th november and i got the date of today but unfortunately i do not have a function to find the yesterday like this i can't type in is equal to yesterday and nothing will pop up because there is no function like that so let's create a function to find yesterday's date tomorrow's date and next week's date to create your own function, we'll use VBA editor for this. For opening the VBA editor, go to developer tab here and click on Visual Basic. You can also click on Alt plus F11 on your keyboard to open the Visual Basic editor. This is the Visual Basic editor. To open this editor window, you can come to this white area which is called as the Project Explorer and right click on here. And you can go to Insert and click on Module. Now, I already have a module inserted here and I'll write my function code inside this editor, please. Let's start writing a function code. I'll start by writing function and let's give a name for our function. So I'll write yesterday. Now, this function does not require any argument. Argument as in, I'll go and show you an example. When I'm writing a function called sum, when I open the bracket, see, number one, number two, these are the arguments, something that we should give as an input inside the function. But for this function, let's say today, there is no argument here. We just have to close the bracket and click enter. We don't have to input any value inside. And just like today function for yesterday, tomorrow and next week as well, we do not need any argument. So there is no need to argue, uh, declare an argument here. Let's go back to the Visual Basic Editor here. And now let's tell the data type of yesterday. We can declare it as a date or we can declare it as a string. If you are declaring it as a date, you'll have to change the format of the cell again and again to long date or short date. So I'll write it as a string. So function yesterday as string, click enter and here we'll write our code. So yesterday is equal to format inside bracket date. So date will be today's date by default minus one. That is today's date minus one day. So it will be yesterday's date. And let's put a comma and tell what format we want it in. So I'll put dd slash mm slash y, 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 y. So it will be date, month, and year. If you want it in some other format, you can declare the format here. Let's close the cards and let's close the parenthesis. Click enter. That's it. The card is done. Let's go back to our worksheet and click here and type in is equal to yesterday. And as you can see, the Excel has suggested you the function we just created. Now let's click on it and select it and let's close the parenthesis. And while clicking enter, it will show us yesterday's date. Now the reason why this particular date went to left side instead of going to right side like usual is because we declared it as a string. If it was declared as a date, it would have went to the right side. Let's see by declaring it as a date. Go back to the Visual Basic Editor and here, declaring a string, we'll change it to date here. And let's see what will be the change. Let's go back and type it again. So is equal to yesterday and close the parenthesis. And let's click enter here. And as you can see, it changed to right alignment, but we'll have to change the format by going to Home tab and clicking on short date. See, it is a date function here it's a date format here and it has come to the right side alignment i'll go and change it back to string here because i don't want to change the format every now and then now let's talk about the next example that is i'll change this to yesterday's date before that yesterday and click enter done i'll delete this yeah 
now let's do the same function for tomorrow for the tomorrow function we'll just copy the same code again and paste it below here let's copy the same code and come here and paste it now the name of the function function instead of yesterday let's write tomorrow tomorrow okay uh, i'll change the spelling yeah tomorrow as string now yesterday instead of here let's also write tomorrow here that tomorrow is equal to format a date it will be date plus one instead of minus one because today's date plus one is tomorrow and the format i just need this only and let's go back to the worksheet and look at what happens so tomorrow is equal to tomorrow and let's close the parenthesis here and click enter see this is tomorrow's date now the last thing we will discuss in this video is next week so next week is basically if today is tuesday i want the date of next tuesday for that let's copy the same code again and paste it here and then instead of tomorrow let's write next week and here as well we can change it into next week now format a date plus one instead of one we will put date plus seven and the format of the date will be same and end function let's go back to our worksheet and see whether it worked is equal to next week and let's close the parenthesis and click enter see this will be uh today is thursday and next thursday's date is 1 12 2022 this is how you can make your own custom functions to find yesterday's day, tomorrow's date, next week dates. And if you have a particular project wherein you have to find, you know, after 10 days a days or, you know, after 100 days, what is the date of that particular day? You can create custom uh, functions by using your VB editor and you can just change date plus 7 or minus 7 or minus 1, 2, 0 or whatever you can according to your project needs i hope this video was clear for you and i have posted many other functions custom functions basic of user defined functions and regular excel functions and many other videos in this channel please take a look into those